And now here's some of the newest and must-watch videos contributed by the Wingsound.com community. That's right, they were uploaded by users like yourself who build their free profile on Wingsound.com and have decided to share their knowledge of music production with the rest of the community. Air Users Blog explains how to get a clear DI bass sound within Pro Tools. Now the first thing I want you to do is to, the best place to start in your arsenal of tools, so these are all things that you get with Pro Tools 8, I'm not going to use any plugins that you have to, have to buy separately. These are all part of the, your Pro Tools 8 plugin. It's go to Sansamp, which has been around for years and lots of engineers swear by Sansamp. It's their kind of lifesaver. And if you go to your preset section, and go to Sansamp factory presets, there's a bass section in there, choose Crunchy Bass, and you will get this great bass sound. I'm going to do it from here actually. Uh, choose Crunchy Bass, there we go. And if we play that now, there's the original bass. Straight away you can see some life going into that. Ear Trash shows how to create a transitional rise using white noise in Ableton Live. So open up an operator, and the first is going to be a sine wave, like that. So then I'm going to change it to white noise. And there you can hear sounds like feedback. Edit the MIDI map so that I can control it using my MIDI controller um, by selecting the knob and then moving the knob. So now you can see that the frequency is moving. Ashley Car 86 gives an overview of the subtractor synth in Reason. Imagine that you've just recorded this guitar. There's a wave file. A synthesizer uses mathematical formulas to generate those same waves. This is the subtractor, the synthesizer of reason. It has a number of sections, as does any synthesizer. I'll go into these sections in more detail. But first, let's have a look at the oscillator section. The oscillator section is the heart and soul of any synthesizer. It's what's used to generate the sound. The way it generates sound is by the use of what's known as a waveform. Make sure you follow Wingsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wingsound or search for Wingsound on Facebook.